All right, so I'm back. Um, I'm aware that I've been gone for a couple of days. And it was not a couple of days. It was around two months, but I'm back. And I'm going to be doing smooth um, transitions, my rotations, and my scale. Um, so, uh, yeah, why not? Let's just get started. So, I have my clips here. Now, the very first one I'm going to start off by doing is um, my zoom out, of course. It's like the most basic. So, let's start. You, you're gonna want to click S on your keyboard, and I start off by making a keyframe like not at the beginning, maybe like not the not like right here. It's perfect. Okay, go to the end of your clip, and I usually do around 40, usually 40 to like 30, but I'm just gonna do uh, 40 because why not? And put the keyframe at the end of your clip and select all keyframes, sorry, and click F9 on your keyboard to easy ease, of course. So we're going to go to effects and presets and just start off by adding motion blur. So, yeah. Oh, no, 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 not motion blur. Oh my god, motion tile. I haven't been on here in a long time. Okay, add motion tile and put the out output width to like 250. 250 is pretty good. And output height. 250 as well and then put mirror edges or actually maybe not 250 because you can see the edges here right so you could do like 270 on both that's probably like the best go to your keyframes okay and then now we're gonna do our graph so usually i like to do like um it bulges in at first so let me show you an example this is the keyframe i use i'm gonna change it around a little bit kind of like that you, you feel me and then you're going to add motion blur and you can always play around with the keyframes to however you like it so i'm gonna do this i think that's pretty good and you're gonna go to your second photo go to click s on your keyboard and let's put this around the end of the clip and for scale probably like 200 it's probably the best F9 on your keyboard to easy ease. Go to your graph editor and let's do um, this graph. I always play around with it, alright? I don't know what's gonna look good or what's gonna look bad. That's what I'm gonna do. Add motion blur. I wanna add one more thing. So you're gonna click new. So right click um, here or you can go to your layer, new, and add an adjustment layer. I'm gonna drag this here just so it's above our first clip. I'm going to cut it. And now you can go to your effects and presets and search up warp and put this on your adjustment layer. You're going to change the warp style from arc and change it to fisheye. And then go to where you put your very first scale keyframe and add bend and change it to zero. And then go to your go to the end of the adjustment layer and change it to negative 100. And then select both of the keyframes on the adjustment layer and copy my graph it's gonna be similar to like the graph on the normal composition layer and you can add motion blur make it look even better it might be too much and if you think it's too much you can always tone it down just a little bit and then yeah that's basically all it is that's what i do let's go in with the zoom in let's start I'm gonna put the keyframes around the same area as I did. Actually, maybe like right here in the middle of the clip. And add a keyframe for scale. And then zoom it into like about. Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna do like 200 again. Like that. And this is like how far apart my keyframes are. Select so like easy. And then for a graph, if you want an effect where like zooms out first and then in it's gonna look like this that's the key thing we're gonna want to do this sort of makes it bulge out if you want it more like that i'm gonna want to do just you know like a basic transition where it zooms in maybe a little more sharp so like that and then i'm gonna go ahead and do like the opposite so at scale i'm gonna put this near the middle of the clip maybe like right here so it's going to be the opposite. So I'm going to change it to like 40. Select the keyframes. F9 keyboard to easy. And then this is my graph. So something like that. All right. Make sure you have um, your motion tile. 
it's uh, smooth, of course. Go ahead and do 270 again on width and height and then mirror edges. I'm gonna put it right here. And you can always, you could, like I said, you can always play around with it until you, it's something that you like. So yeah, that's basically what I do. And again, if you want it to bulge, you can always change your key, your graph, change your graph like that, and look like that. And yeah, next is rotation. So let's get started. All right, so for rotation, you could want to click R on your keyboard. Click on the clock right here and drag it to around where you want it. I'm going to do like almost the middle of the clip. And then I'm going to, you can always do like maybe 90 or like a little more, like 140. Or you could even do 180, but I'm personally, I'm about to do 190. I'm about to do 90, all right? So put this at the very end of your clip. And now let's do our graph. So just similar to the zoom, you can make it like bulge. So you could do like that, which for my, my rotations, I usually like to have that effect where it goes like that first. I'm going to actually move the key from back just a little bit. But for this, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do a normal spin like that. So let's do the next one, R on your keyboard for rotation. And you're gonna do negative 90, right? Because it's the opposite, you know, because it's 90, so negative 90. So I'm gonna put it like right here, maybe. Let's do our graph, it looks like that. No, it's pretty smooth. All right, so for slide, you're gonna wanna use position. So click P on your keyboard. And let's, again, like the past rotation and scale, we're gonna do a keyframe near the middle. And I'm gonna maybe move it to like, sorry, move it to like right here. Let's do 100, put it here. And then we're gonna go to our graph and you'll see something that looks like this. Now the easiest way to fix that is to right click on position, click separate, separate, separate dimensions. And then you're gonna wanna get rid of the Y position because we're not using that right y is vertical but we're doing x which is horizontal now you'll be able to edit it normally and the graph is going to be like every other graph like that so let's move on to the second photo we're going to click the clock here to add a keyframe drag to like the middle of your clip and then we're going to click on this diamond button here keyframe thing i'm going to drag it this way like that so like your keyframes and let's work on the graph. This is gonna happen again, so you're gonna right click, of course, and click separate dimensions and get rid of the Y position. Remember that, all right? Y vertical, X horizontal. So now we're gonna work on the um, graph. So just copy mine or play around and see what you like. And yeah, that's basically it. And you can always like move the keyframes. You don't have to copy exactly what I do move it around play with the graph just obtain your own style if you feel like it so i hope you guys enjoyed watching comment down below what you want me to do next and i'll 100 try it out yeah so that's all i gotta say thank you for watching and peace